Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Play on GA, and this is just going to be the quick uh, match re reaction, I suppose, from the Cork vs Waterford game, where Waterford are the National Hurling League winners of uh, 2022, coming out 420 to 123 winners, and look, it was a it was a sensational performance for Waterford, and uh, yeah, they looked they looked far the better side throughout. The the power they brought to midfield, the direct running. The scores, everything, the tight marking, the job that Prunty did in full back as well. Look, they were absolute value for the win. And, uh, yeah, it was just some sensational hurling from Waterford. And uh, just looking at them now, kind of, I know they're tr that the instant reaction there from them as well. They're trying to keep their feet in the ground here as well. But very exciting prospect for them at the moment, especially considering they didn't even try and overturn the Austin Gleeson red card. They let them sit in the sidelines to kind of, uh, and to kind of give them that hit bit of medicine I suppose that he had to look on when they win a national title so look they're going to have him hungry come back in for championship and look it's a scary proposition that team Jamie Barnes has come back early daily as well but so it's uh yeah look they're in, they're in great great shape at the moment so just like touching on the match like they uh it's, it was the old saying I suppose goals win games and look Waterford are just mad for goals really and Liam Cowell's teams just continuously do this they uh they're, they're able to to develop goal scoring chances all consistently throughout games all the time and look I suppose the big find for them this year is Carhook Daly and look he played midfield and I know Stephen Bennett probably has to win man of the match because of the scores and the amount the tally that he put up and everything as well but Carhook Daly was absolutely immense throughout and uh, yeah it was just it was his running through the middle him Neil Montgomery uh, Jack Prendergast as well that they just ran continuously through and then that, that kind of layoff pass two to four does pull off to the side and then back to the net and there's just no real answer to it and Cork look Cork the full back line was absolutely run ragged I suppose by this and uh, yeah look for Waterford like even on a day when Desi Hutchison is kept completely quiet until look he scores the goal because of getting on the end of one of those runs but uh like Cork managed to to keep uh Desi quiet and uh still they they, they ship 420 so look it's uh there's so many options, I suppose, for Waterford, and it was just a huge, huge performance. Like in the back line as well, Caelan Lyons comes back in, slots in straight away. And um, Connor Prunty did a great job in Horgan. Like he absolutely won that battle. And uh, yeah, Horgan hit one point from play from with the very first score of the game, and then after that, barely felt away of the ball again after that bar the free. So uh, yeah, a huge, huge uh, kind of performance by Prunty. And uh, yeah, so look, they they they're in great, great shape, and. Uh, yeah, it's as well. Look, Oscar Gleeson will come back in. He'll probably go back centre half forward. Jamie Barron, there's questions about his fitness that he might be a bit later coming back. But look, with Carrick Daly, Daryl Lyons midfield, there's not a real rush for him to come back. And that, look, when he comes back in, he'll be a great addition. But they look, there's they're, 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 they're strength there for Waterford. And uh, yeah, they just play fantastic. Adford or Hurling, like really physical, play with pace. They look for goals and they're just there's just a hunger about them this year and look they're they're in great great form so uh yeah from their perspective look they got that national title it's just it's great to see Liam Cahill get a to get a win I suppose with them too like that in in a national tournament and that they they've deserved it as well so uh yeah great start but look for them the important thing is that look they keep their feet in the floor that they uh and that look they they accept that look the big thing what they'll be judged on is their performance in championship so uh look they bring those performance and I think they'll absolutely have enough for uh for tip going forward in two weeks time so uh yeah look I think I think based off that I think I'm very confident in that look they'll absolutely get a monster if they can keep their feet in the ground and can continue that level of performance if they can do that look it's them and Limerick that are will be fighting out for an All Ireland in in a few months time so uh. Yeah, look, big statement by them. Briefly touching on Cork as well. I think look, I think the game they'll be disappointed with, and that the game kind of created more questions. I think they were kind of happy with where they were going into this game, and that they had a settled team. And kind of now, all of a sudden, like a few more questions about it. the full back line really struggled. Like I know Daryl Leary might go back in there full back. There's questions about his fitness, but he's very young as well. Like they they just they did struggle in the full back line and. Uh, the other one was like after the last day, Alan Connolly in corner forward that uh, had a great game, but uh, yeah, struggled this time. And then Kingston came back in, so I'd imagine he'll revert back there as well. Big plus, I suppose, for them was Robbie O'Flynn, who was probably the best player in the pitch. He scored one three. Well, for for Cork, he was the best player. So uh, yeah, no, that that was uh, he was the real shine light, and he kind of brought a lot of drive to Cork and continuously kept battling. I suppose right to the end and got a goal 
which gave him a tally, which was de deserved for every for uh, his performances as well. So yeah, I suppose just from Cork, they'll be disappointed enough. They couldn't get Fitzgibbon into the game like previous ones, and uh, yeah, they just they just struggled. Harnley struggled, uh, and just players like in in around the half forward line just kind of they didn't have the same dominance that they had in previous games. So uh, yeah, look from Cork, few more questions about it, and look, I know John Kiley watching on. I think he probably have seen a few things that he can look to exploit and that, look, if they don't sort out the, the defensive stuff, Galan might have a field day in the full forward line the next day. So, uh, yeah, look from Waterford, couldn't have gone any better for them as well. They get their national title and everything as well. And then for Cork, a few more answers. But look, really good game, good pace, good intensity and great atmosphere down Turles as well. So, uh, congratulations to Waterford anyway. And look, from their perspective, hopefully the first of, of, uh, of May more to come.